Okay, see, I'll make I'll make this point very simple and short. Men, we are dumb. We are dumb. So you better just tell us what you want, then we give it to you. What's up, guys? Your boy Mario, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm sure by the time you guys already know what's up. Today I'm going to be showing you guys. 10 things you girls do that guys don't like so please guys stay tuned to the end of this video because this video is going to be a lot a lot of fun and a lot of laughter please like this video comment on how you feel about this video share the video with your friends and please guys subscribe we are now to 300 subscribers so please guys subscribe and turn your notification bell to be notified on all my videos so guys let's get to the video So the number one on my list is talking all the time. <laughs> so let me give an example. The other time I think um last year when I saw a very beautiful girl, she had an intimidating beauty. Like you know those girls that if you see them, they are so gorgeous, you'll be afraid to even talk to them or let's say shy to talk to them. So, um, the time I decided to approach her and to be friends with her. Oh, this So, we talked and talked and we said and we started knowing each other a little by little. And when she decided to be free with me, oof. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> There's something that she said that really boring. Like, as a gentleman, I will not tell her that what she's saying is boring or she should keep quiet. I'll just be paying it. But little by little, she started becoming her attractiveness, started reducing. Is, is that it's in or something? It's still reducing, and she was just like any normal girl for me. So, even though she was really even still attractive at that time. She was still beautiful, but I was not feeling the vibe as that first time where, from a distance, you really like the girl, understand? So, at least it was really good for me to know her and know what she is like before I started doing unnecessary things. Get this fact, guys an average woman speaks like 25,000 words a day, and an average man speaks like 10,000 words a day. How can we keep up? I don't say you should not talk. Talk, be free with your guys, but at least say the important things. Like there are some times that the girl will even be talking about her ex. What's my what's my business with her ex? Come on. Communication is good for a healthy relationship. But pick a topic that you guys, both of you, have a similar interest in. Number two on my list is always expecting us to make the first move. Ah. Uh. I don't want to allow. Okay. Okay, so guys, now this is outdated. This 21st century is only Nigerian girls that love doing this. They will like you, but they will not open their mouths. You see, you have girlfriend. They'll be liking you at the side. Though. You have girlfriend. They will not talk. You have wife. They will not talk. After you start manipulating, start doing wish wish for more relationship. Who born you? Who dare you? Who bring you? How do you exist? How do you form? Where do you come from? Who born who are you? That's how they are now. That's how it is. Me personally, I hate it when a woman doesn't show any sort of communication or even show that she's interested. What they say is because they want you to just go for it. If if you don't show that you're interested in me, the last thing I want is to go for it. Number three on the list is makeup. Wearing too much makeup ridiculous amount of makeup and you just want to say fuck you okay so there are three kinds of women that does this women that are fine then put on makeup then women that are not fine then put on makeup and women that put on makeup and become ugly shut up shut up just shut up shut up shut up do, do you understand what i mean like there are some women that i don't know whether they just put on makeup just for no reason they just wear makeup and they become ugly. But in their normal face, they are fine. I hope you understand what I mean. I don't, I don't like it when I give someone hug and um, they will be 
pack of makeup left down on my shoulder that is somehow now there's a women that get angry when they come out of their house and you ask them if they are sick when they come outside without makeup what do you expect oh you ask your grandfather when every time you wear makeup then there will be a time that you come out you look you'll be different i don't even know your real face from your um, makeup face for example if you wear glasses for um two years and you walk into an office without the glasses of course people will notice that you are not with the glasses now that's just how it is with makeup makeup is fun and sexy quite all right but i might forget how you really look like when it's always when you always wear makeup constantly or overdone number four on the list is stealing our hoodies i don't say taking i don't say asking for the hoodies i don't say me giving you the hoodie i say stealing our hoodies <laughs> I'm so sure some guys might relate to this. Let me say you come to my house. I let, I invite you to my home to have fun. Not what you think, but to have fun. Let's play and so on. And um, you let me say you get comfortable. You go around the house. You see a fine hoodie I kept in my wardrobe. Now wear it. I know how to wear it too. Hoodie you don't even know whether it's my own. You don't know whether somebody borrowed me. You don't know whether I stole it. Just enter my wardrobe, see who did. Wait. You now come out and start asking me, do I, look, do I look fine? No, you don't look fine. Should I tell you you look fine? It might not just be who it is, it can be sweater, it can be um, cap or anything. But basically, the clothing, you come to my home, you, you wear it, okay. No problem, I know this. As a gentleman now, I like to wear it, no problem. You now go home with it. In a concentration, why? I touch you. And your papa give me. No, no. It's not cool, man. And that makes us really mad. It gets, it gets us angry. You might not notice it. Maybe you might think it's play play, but come on now. Uh -uh. If I go, if I, okay, if I go to your room now and take one of your shoes, one of those your high heels now, it might have to be a war zone. It's not cool, man. Number five. Dropping hints. See, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this thing I'm about to say now is under damage control. You understand me? Because eh, I, I won't be dating somebody. Any girl I'm dating or we are dating, you understand? And they say, okay, I want to test him. I want to test my boyfriend. You now give my number to your friend to test me if I will fall. I will fall, oh. hmm. I will fall. You understand me? Because this, they want my nipple. Because now this kind of things will they pray for, say, make God just come off for my body or make God remove all this kind of things so that person no go use and test me. Then you know, you all just say, okay, you want to test me. If you test me, I will fall. Now, for you, if you test this now, if you want my name, I will fall. What's for you? Damage control. Okay, see, I'll make, I'll make this point very simple and short. Men, we are dumb. You don't expect to give us hints and, and waiting for us to answer we are done so you better just tell us what you want then we give it to you that's just it don't give us hint what the fuck is hint hmm. <laughs> we are blunt we don't we don't pick we don't pick any hint so don't get angry as simple as that that is number five number six on the list is when i invite you out i start calling your friends okay this one you actually have to be clever at being stupid to come up with something like this so I clap for this girl for being a smart dumb ass I'm sure some guys might relate to this let me say you um, invite your babe or your friend out to a restaurant immediately you just drop immediately you just enter the restaurant if she's with your if she's with your phone like this typing just know she's calling her friends to come and join free food but I'm sure some guys have been experiencing it so Girls, we invited you, not your friends. If you, 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 you follow me, right? We invited you so that we will be so I will have a romantic dinner, not a friendship dinner. And you know what is more annoying is when you not invite those friends, you not spend more than what you budgeted for, and when they not come, you not start ordering expensive drinks. <laughs> Hey. 
you don't have no choice but to pay. So that you know for your hand now. Easy guys to stop that. These all these all these points are obstacles. Because you are still going to do it on that guy. So please stop it. Number seven on the list. Using your boyfriend, your, sorry, using your ex-boyfriend as an example. <laughs> he shot you. That is that is that is the peak. Don't no, don't try it. Please, please avoid avoid using your ex as an example. That is the worst thing you can do to any guy. You're, you're like bringing him down. If you understand, you're bringing him down. He needs a man, a guy needs to feel perfect for you. So don't use your ex as an example. And then the, any guy you date and you use him as and use your ex as an example, he hates your ex. That is your ex is now like one of his enemies. And you're not using him as an example. Why? Even if the guy doesn't know your ex, using your ex as an example means they are making him believe that he is better than your boyfriend and you, you have never forgotten your ex that's just what it means so a big advice for all the women all you, all, all you guys never ever use your ex as any ex in fact don't even talk about them at all because that will ruin your relationship with any guy I'm just telling you that will really, really ruin your relationship with any guy Number eight, she is too jealous. What kind of a man are you? Any relationship is built on trust. So if you don't trust your partner, why are you now with him? If you see your partner with his sister, you think he's on that beef. Jealousy can keep um, a fire in a relationship healthy, but too much jealousy can give an ex exact opposite. Okay, if um, a, a day comes and um, he, he tells you he wants to go and hang out with his friend, let me say Friday, you know now, he wants to go and hang out with his friends and you're not following him, then by mistake you're not seeing him staying at a woman. You don't know the reason why he was staying, you're not seeing him staying at a woman. Problem don't come. There's a problem now. So, girls, guys, as guys now, we need our space. We need to breathe. Understand? You need to think so that we we'll have. A better relationship with you not always coming coming me why you need space and if you really love them you really give them that space and stop playing this bad game to them following them up and down because they are jealous number nine on the list is stop spending too much money but no they make the money they ball the ball yeah. the ball the ones that they call themselves baller now who they buy the ball where they ball Our riches will stay there forever. Stop spending too much money. Okay, let me say um, on your first date, maybe he spent a lot of money, but don't misunderstand. That was to win your heart. That that was to um, impress you. It doesn't mean that he has to. He has to do it every time. Spending money on controllably tells a lot about you and your personality and what you really want in this relationship. Men, if you are in a relationship, we do imagine, like at least once, you must have imagined you as the mother of your kids. So that tells a lot about you. And they don't really need a gold digger as their um, children's mother. You may like expensive cars, watch, jewelry, and so on. But you are not the kind of woman a man wants to make family with. So that should call for a change. And number 10, making too many suggestions and remarks. He's not perfect, but you already knew this from the first time you met him. That's why you guys are in a relationship. So it will not be a big deal if he doesn't carry the dispenser or the refrigerator or um, the handbag the way you want it. If he usually um, doesn't lower the toilet seat or even doesn't flush or, um, I don't know, doesn't shave. For an unknown reason, 
women always know better i really don't get it please if you if you can explain this please comment down below because i i don't i don't understand you guys always also make mistakes now like what i'm listening now so you have to understand that he's not perfect but he's there for you that what is important i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and comment if you want a part two of this video because i'm actually planning to do a part two so please like this video and comment on how you feel about this video share this video with your friends and please guys subscribe please subscribe on our way to 300 subscribers so please guys subscribe and turn your notification bell to be notified on all my videos so guys this is my next video